hello everyone welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while happy new year i hope you are doing well i hope your year is going great you are in good health and your hair is growing okay so today i'm going to be talking to you about protective styles some of the protective styles i have done and others i'm looking forward to doing and styles that are going to protect when you say protective style any style that puts your hair away for some time that prevents manipulation and reduces the amount of time you put your hands in your hair and protects your hair at the same time that's protective style and yeah tons and tons and tons of protective style number one on my list is braids braids every african girl loves braids every african girl loves braids so for braids we have a three strand braids what we call in my country rasta yes so you can either do that at this time of the year or any other time you feel the need to do a protective style and then we have twist that's the two strand braids so with twist you can either do with your natural hair without any attachment or mesh or you can do with um the normal mesh we use for rasta or for braids or you can do with the kinky mesh the kinky textured type of mesh yes so either you go in for braids that is the three strand braids or the two strand that is twist number two crochet for those of you who don't know what crochet is um it's a type of protective style where you put your hair in cornrows then you pull through the cornrows mesh and we have the for crochet we have two different mesh or attachments you can use we have the weave type of mesh and then you have the braids so you put your hair in cornrows then you pull either the braids or the weave type of mesh through the cornrows to cover your whole head or to cover your scalp and the outcome is beautiful trust me i've done it a couple of times and it's amazing you can try it you can some pictures of me in this particular style crochet braids yes i've done it with the kinky mesh and I've done it with, yeah, I've done it with a curly type of mesh as well, yes. So I've tried these two types for crochet braids. And the next type of protective style you can run to, it's a go-to, it's a go-to protective style. It's usually faster when you're doing it, it's usually faster than braids because when you're doing braids it takes some time and my country can take you up to what well, I think is everywhere and when and wherever you do braids it takes a really long time especially if you're going in for the smaller ones and you're not going for the jumbo braids it, it can take you from three to four hours if not five depending on your hairstylist so this next protective style doesn't take that much time yes even if your stylus is slow it doesn't take that much time so number three corn rolls corn rolls are a go-to like if you don't want to wear your hair out you can just put your hair in corn rolls and wear a hair scarf wear a head wrap wear a wig you're done you don't need to manipulate so with corn rolls just like the braids you can either add attachments or do with your natural hair so right now i have cornrows underneath this yes so that is without attachments or any mesh and you can also go in with mesh and there are several styles you can do with mesh um, a cornrow with mesh it's amazing what you can do with cornrows on your hair it's amazing what you can do with cornrows on your hair i'm going to insert some pictures of different styles of cornrows you can actually try when it comes to weaves wigs there are two types either you go in for a unit or you have it sewn that's what we call the sewing so either you have a unit like i have on which you can take off anytime and i know most of you will identify with me for as ladies who wear wigs the minute you get home is the first thing you take off like i can't wait to take my wig off each time i come home like i just can't wait to take it off it's easy to manage, it's easy to handle, just that it can get a bit hot in there, but beauty cost, so yes. 
So we have wig, wig units, like I'm wearing on wig. So you can put your hair in cornrows or you can just wrap your hair, wear a hair net and then put your wig on. Or you put it in cornrows, put your wig on, off you go. Yeah. Or you can have the weave soon attached to braids on your hair. That's what we call the sew in. So with that, there's no taking off when you come back from work. It's on your head for the number of weeks or months you're going to keep it on <laughs> months <laughs> the number of weeks you're going to keep it on locks so locks or dread whichever way you want to call it it's a type of protective style that is amazing just amazing and we have the temporary and the permanent so for the temporary um, it's just like the braids you add attachment you can keep it for a few weeks or a month or two then you take it off but for the permanent the minute you put your hair in locks or dread that's it you are done you can have it back i seen pass your hand through it or comb it or do a flat iron no you're done you're done no re-moisturizing maybe just your scalp like it's stress free um it's not time consuming and it's not restrictive as people think you can style your locks anytime you want your sister locks what other locks do we have yeah all the other ones you can style it anytime and as and when and how you want it so the temporary locks we have goddess locks and it's amazing so it's like dread with Kelly ends, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I'm so looking forward to doing that. I'm so looking forward to this. Please don't forget, like, comment, and share this video with friends and family. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out.